lovely, lovely good evening from here in Jolly and hope as always that each one of you are absolutely, absolutely fine, happy and of course in fine spirits. Since last few days, to be very honest with you, in fact, I shouldn't say since last few days, in fact, to be very honest with, with you, since the day actually I started free classes for Hindi version student with respect to financial accounting, CMA Group 1 I am talking about, correct? I have been flooded with lots of lots of messages, sir, why you are not starting what we call financial accounting classes for southern level, for southern Indian students and especially in English version. So that was the main reason today for holding down this particular session. So ultimately I have headed to your what we call advices, your request, wherein lots of messages as I told you I have received to start these classes. So here is the good news for each one of you. If you have if you are a student of CMA Group 1 and you are preparing for financial accounting for your upcoming examinations and you feel comfortable with this particular language, English language, or for that distance, if you are residing in southern India or eastern India, where people mostly have felt actually they feel more comfortable with this particular language. So here is the news for you that as you can see flashing on your screens that we are starting on what we call free classes. So free classes, obviously now we are starting for you and these free classes announcement. And besides that, we are going to talk about preparation strategy for this particular what we call subject. Needless to add, it's a pretty uh, interesting subject, financial accounting, scoring one among all the what we call subjects which you are having at this particular level. Now, uh, first of all, I will talk about the free classes. In order to join the free classes, what you are supposed to do. That I will let you know in a short while, but at this moment, let me tell you very shortly that all you have to do is to first of all subscribe our channel. This is my channel itself don't worry about that cma virtual planet cma virtual planet this is the first thing which you need to do actually there are two channels by the name of cma virtual planet one is for hindi and another one is for english version so because we are starting this particular course uh, for english version students so you need to first of all subscribe to these channel correct besides we have cma virtual planet hindi channel Correct, wherein we are already running what we call free classes for uh, those students who feel more what we call comfortable with the Hindi version. And besides that, there is another YouTube channel which you should always subscribe to because we, um, uh, every alternate days, we keep on give you what we call some information very relevant for you. So it would be better for you to subscribe this particular channel also, Sanjay Welkins Official. Sanjay Welkins Official. So these three channels you must subscribe immediately, correct? Official. Now these classes will run on this particular channel. These are YouTube classes and we are going to upload the entire course over here and at a particular time, that time will be let you known, correct? In a very short time, in a very short period of time after this particular video. So first of all, we will talk about what we call free classes announcements. So under this what you are supposed to do actually you simply have to watch the lecture at allotted time correct watch the lecture at allotted time and most probably the allotted time will be actually 11 30 a.m 11 30 a.m and classes class duration may be of what we call one and a half hours or sometime two hours so you can make it till up to 11 30 to at least 1 p.m you can make it correct 1 p.m. so every day we are going to upload the lecture from Monday to Saturday and so you can easily finish up your course so basically we are starting this particular course on request and as you know actually we are busy with several courses so that is the reason actually sometime it becomes very difficult to squeeze out the what we call time but anyway so this is exactly the policy but the important point which i would love you to actually go through you will be able to drive the maximum mileage out of this course only when you will purchase our books now our books which you are going to purchase will cost you 1200 actually the cost of the book is 900 and 300 are courier charges and we are going to provide you two volumes correct so this is the information i wanted to share with you correct and I will tell you the number in case if you want to 
inquire about this particular course you can contact that number and in case if you are also interested in buying the books because without buying the books it will be very difficult for you to comprehend the lecture series so i don't think we there is no point because our regular courses are nearly costing there about what we call 5500 to 7000 depending upon the validity period so there is no point in going for that you can simply within 1200 rupees you can do the most penetrative and most potent and most comprehensive coaching this i can assure you and i need not require to tell you to be very honest with you you can simply inquire off you can take the feedbacks from the students who are already actually going through our courses correct so this is the one part this is the one news which i just wanted to share with you so free classes announcement and most probably by next week we are going to start this but these this particular what we call classes now coming over to what we call your financial accounting preparation strategy see whenever we are going to prepare for any particular subject through my experience i have seen that three important aspects are always there which you need to take care of now, one is that first of all you need to always go through your syllabus very deeply it is of paramount importance for you to go through your slavers very deeply, very deeply. I mean to say you have to be in a position to make a threadbare analysis of your entire slavers. Because this is the mistake I have seen actually students are doing on umpteenth occasion and later on they are ruining their that particular decision when they face the examination simply because of the fact that they didn't go through the what we call entire syllabus very deeply because so, or more often than not what happens actually sometimes questions get tossed up in the examinations which you weren't actually in the know since you didn't bother to actually go through the syllabus in its entirety. So that's the reason it is of paramount importance for you to take into account the syllabus very deeply. Once you have gone through the syllabus, then you should be in a position to segregate the syllabus into what we call practical topics and theoretical topics and accordingly you can mold your strategy. After having done that, you need to then give a priority order to the chapters or the topics that which are the most important one and which are what we call important and the other one. Never say unimportant. This is a professional course and there is no shortcut route to actually achieve the success. This is the first thing which you need to know. Correct? Obviously, when we will go through our courses, I will talk about other things also. I will do the all these things. I will do the analysis of all these things which I just talked about. Also, another important point is the methodology. It is of paramount importance that whenever you go through a particular course or purchase a particular course, there should be a conceptual clarity. Unless there is a conceptual clarity, you won't be able to comprehend the what we call basics of the subject and ultimately you will suffer a lot. So that's the reason actually in order to acquire the conceptual clarity, it is of important, it is of paramount importance that you need to have a course which is potent, which is penetrative and which is complemented with equally latest updated well-researched study material. That is what we mean by conceptual cl clarity. And obviously, those among you who will subscribe to our regular courses or YouTube batch who are going to join that mean free classes, you will get the conceptual clarity. This I can assure you. And in order to have a, what we call good crack at the examination, you need to boost your preparation with good resources. When I say good resources, it means first of all, you need to have a good quality study material, which encompasses all the questions of the module, the previous year questions, RTP questions, and of course, what we call your revisionary questions. Correct? That is what we mean by quality study material. And then you need to at least do three past year questions, uh, three past year papers or questions. Correct? And a good course always encompasses a three phase coverage. In the first phase, generally the module and the study kit which is supplied by the faculty is covered. And then under the second phase, actually, there should be coverage of past question papers, RTPs or MTPs and ultimately there must be some revisionary session. And in our courses, we have uh, kept all these facets correct at the topmost. So these, that is the reason why I'm telling you, you need not require to hunt for anything else. Correct. Once you are going to join the course, ultimately you will never ever repent your this particular decision. This I can assure you. Anyway, now coming over to what we call your syllabus, as you are well aware of this particular fact that financial accounting paper is divided into some sections. For example, the first section that is that deals with accounting fundamental, it encompasses 15 marks. Similarly, your second part is accounting for a special transaction, it encompasses 10%. Similarly, there are several sections, section A, B, C, D, E, F, correct? We will talk about these sections. Here it is. 
as far as your section A is concerned, in this particular section, correct, first of all, the institute has allotted 15% marks to it. And in this particular section, there are some, some theoretical chapters. And it's a pretty important, what we call, uh, section. You need to take that into account also. For example, in this particular section, there is a theoretical chapter, hardly one page chapter, that is four frameworks of the accounting. It's a theoretical chapter. Similarly, under the second one, accounting principles and then concepts and conventions. You need to be very well th thorough with all these things, accounting principle, concepts and conventions. Why? Because the first question which you generally get in the examination that deals with MCQs and lots of MCQs I have seen actually get tossed off from this particular part. So that is the reason why you need to pay a little bit more attention. In fact, all these three chapters which I have tick marked under this particular section are theoretical one. Correct framework, accounting principle, concepts, conventions, capital and revenue transactions, and of course, accounting cycle. In fact, accounting cycle, that is exactly what you have done prior in your prior levels. Is it clear to you? That means in your class 11, 12, you know actually what do you mean by accounting cycle? which start from what we call recording the transaction to preparing to the ledger and then ultimately trial balance and finally what we call final accounts. So accounting cycle. Then there are some practical chapter in this particular section, banking reconciliation statement, depreciation, rectification of errors and of course the treatment of bad debts, provision for doubtful debts, etc. These chapters, all these chapter, practical chapters are pretty important, but I have seen actually most of the students neglect these chapters. And we have seen regularly questions are uh, what we call striking in the examination from this particular part. So that's the reason you shouldn't neglect this particular part. Even though you might have done these what we call topics in your earlier phases of education, in spite of that, actually, I'm telling you, these are very important. Banking reconciliation statement, depreciation, rectification, especially. And then you need to have a good idea regarding the treatment of the bad debts, provision for doubtful debts, provision for discount, and provision for discount for creditors. In fact, this particular part we will cover when we'll pick up what we call final accounts. Correct? Now your second section, that is headed as what we call special transactions and it can encompass a 10 percent here in you are going to study three chapters bills of exchange consignment and joint venture good thing about is that little bit of idea you have got in your earlier phases of education consignment and joint venture you have already done and if you have done this chapter thoroughly in your previous level honestly speaking you need not require to stress hard at this particular level provided you have done them thoroughly Correct. We have covered each and every what we call chapter thoroughly with largest number of what we call questions. And bills of exchange, actually, at this level, you under this particular topic, you need to have a very good idea regarding accommodation bill. You can definitely be sure of a particular question from this particular part because you haven't studied accommodation bill. Correct. So that's the reason, actually, you will have to pay a little bit of attention towards this particular area under bills of exchange. Now, preparation of financial statement, it encompasses 20%. Now, financial statement, when we prepare, one is preparation of financial statement of commercial organization other than what we call corporate form. Correct? As we know that final accounts are prepared by corporate bodies and non-corporate bodies. We know that financial accounts are being prepared by corporate bodies and non-corporate bodies also. But at your level, you have final accounts of non-corporate bodies, non-corporate bodies, because final preparation of financial statement of corporate bodies, you are going to study in your group two, correct? Besides this particular chapter, you have preparation of financial statement of not-for-profit organization, and then preparation of financial statement of incomplete records that is also known as single and ent single entry system. All these three chapters are pretty long. But as far as from this particular chapter, preparation of financial statement of non-corporate bodies, you are not going to get lengthy question like preparation of trading account, profit and loss account. Here, you, be, you need to be very well jeffed up with topics like bad debts, like provision for doubtful debts, because lots of questions get tossed up in the examination. So you are not going to get a long question, but you are going to get four or five mark questions, correct, related to what we call preparation of accounts of bad debts, provision for doubtful debts, correct, and similarly provision provision for discount and similarly provision for discount against the creditor. So these are the topics which you need to take care of when you are going to study this particular chapter. While these two chapters are pretty long, no doubt about that, correct? Coming over to partnership. Now partnership is very long at this particular level. That is why your course is pretty long, very tedious, no doubt about that. 
but ultimately you will have to study even though you might have gone through some topic in your earlier phases of education for example under partnership you have admission of a partner retirement death of a partner you have studied all this chapter in your 11th in your 12th etc Correct. Besides that, we have got dissolution of partnership. Even under dissolution, we have simple dissolution, insolvency of partner, insolvency of firms, etc. And then amalgamation and then conversion of partnership firm into company form of business and then limited liability partnership and piecemeal distribution. So everything has been encompassed. It's a pretty long, long, long chapter. No doubt about that. Even though it's a pretty long one. But when we will do this, I will let you know that where, which are the area where you will have to actually stress, correct? A little bit extra. Generally, we have seen that questions from sale of partnership firm and insolvency of partners are being asked in the examination as far as this particular topic is concerned. Similarly, then your section E again encompasses 15% and this particular topic encompasses these four lengthy chapters. One is lease accounting. And another one is branch accounting and then we have insurance claim and higher purchase installment all these chapters are pretty long so it and these all these chapters are pretty important also that is why you need to focus hard when you are going to do and we will see to it that you comprehend each and every aspect of these things and similarly then your section f is concerned it is related to accounting standard 20 percent under accounting standard you can divide the accounting standard part into two one that is introduction to accounting standard and second a specified accounting standard actually there are 29 accounting standard but at your level the accounting standard which you will have to study is accounting standard as1 as10 as11 as12 as16 and as22 and 20 percent mark it encompasses this is exactly your course and if you are going to subscribe to our courses and you are going to buy our books then we are going to offer you such books as I told you. This is volume one, concept dossier plus question banks, lots of questions. In branch account itself, we have kept near about what we call 100 to 140 questions. Correct. So we will see to it that you make a thorough study and you need not require to hunt for anything else. These are the topics which we have covered. I have already told you. Then your second volume deals with accounting standard. Herein we have encompassed all the accounting standard in a very simplified form and lots of case studies have been given. Now, many a student actually I have seen through my experience ask this question, sir, do we need to do the institute's module also? As I've already told you, since all the questions of the module have been well and truly covered in our material or tutorials, then you need not require to go for that. Then how to revise the course? I've already told you that once the course will be finished, in fact, we are giving three phase coverage. Once the course is finished, we will see to it that all the past three attempt paper, three mock test papers are also done and revisionary sessions are also added. Correct. What about the doubts? Many a time I have seen students also ask this particular question. We are giving you three level. Correct. Through that, you can chat with us. You can talk to us. You can clear your doubt in case there will be any. Then how to prepare for the MCQs in our study material and even in our class where you will see that at the end of each chapter we have given lots of MCQs and after having done the chapter when you will go through those MCQs quite obviously your preparation in MCQ will be very very good. So I need not require to tell you you need not require to worry about that particular aspect we have taken that into account so don't worry about that. Final touches I have already told you in order to give the final touches we are going to hold the what we call sessions with respect to past year papers, some revisionary sessions also. Now this is the point. One is Sanjay Welkin's official rights. There are two, you, you, uh, in fact three YouTube channels. One is Sanjay Welkin's official. Then CMA Virtual Planet. One is Hindi, another is English. You subscribe to English one and this particular channel, Sanjay Welkin's official. Classes will be held in CMA Virtual Planet English. Is it clear to you that in case if you are interested in our courses, in our YouTube classes, free classes, and you want to have any query, you can actually talk over this particular number. In case if the call is not picked, sometime it happens, you can simply WhatsApp off your message like this. That's so we are interested in knowing about the free classes. So our staff is going to revert to you. Don't worry about that. Then besides that, you need to download the Sanjay Wilkins Learning Mobile app. So. After this, now, as I've already told you, it, it is always better 
for you to go for something which is almost given to you free of course there is no point in buying what we call courses worth seven thousand eight thousand so it's a wonderful opportunity for you and we are not for this for the sake of saying simply telling that we are going to give you free classes these free classes are virtually our regular classes correct so everything what we do in regular class we are going to actually do over there itself your Definitely, first you attend some demo classes which we are going to hold down after a week and we are going to upload on the what we call channels. So, immediately subscribe the channel, these three channels which I told you and then you will get a good idea regarding the classes. So, I hope that this particular news will strike chord with you and you will feel happy over it and I'm very sure that after having gone through one or two lectures, you will feel a little bit happy. Let us know about your feedback also so that we can come out with some more courses for the other students. And Okay, then on such count, we end up this particular session because it was a small chat with you and where I just wanted to share the news that we are going to start what we call free classes for what we call English version student financial accounting CMA group one. Okay then, on such note, we finish up this particular session. Looking forward to meet you in the what we call, what we call YouTube batch. Since then, it's time to say goodbye.